The book of Revelation, also known as the Apocalypse of John, is the final book of the New Testament in the Christian Bible. It is considered one of the most enigmatic and controversial books due to its vivid imagery, symbolism, and apocalyptic themes. The authorship of the book is traditionally ascribed to John the Apostle, although there is scholarly debate on this matter. Revelation is structured as an apocalyptic letter addressed to seven churches in Asia Minor, modern-day Turkey. It is composed of visions, prophecies, and symbolic language. Primarily concerning the end times, the return of Jesus Christ, the final judgment, and the establishment of a new heaven and earth. The book is filled with rich symbolism, drawing heavily from the Old Testament, particularly the prophetic books such as Daniel, Ezekiel, and Zechariah. It depicts cosmic battles between good and evil, the triumph of God over Satan, and the ultimate victory of righteousness. Some key themes in Revelation include, eschatology, Revelation deals extensively with the end times and the events leading up to the return of Christ. It describes the rise of false prophets, wars, famines, plagues, and other calamities as signs of the approaching end. Judgment, the book portrays the final judgment of humanity, where the righteous are rewarded with eternal life in the presence of God, while the wicked are cast into the lake of fire. Symbolism, Revelation is filled with symbolic imagery, including beasts, angels, seals, trumpets, and bowls. These symbols often carry deeper theological meanings and are open to various interpretations. Persecution and martyrdom, Revelation speaks to the suffering of Christians under persecution and encourages them to remain faithful to Christ, even unto death. Hope and redemption, despite its terrifying imagery, Revelation ultimately conveys a message of hope and redemption for believers. It emphasizes the final victory of Christ and the ultimate restoration of all things. Interpreting the book of Revelation has been a subject of much debate throughout history, leading to various theological perspectives and eschatological theories. Some interpret it as a literal prophecy of future events, while others view it as symbolic of spiritual truths applicable to all ages. Regardless of interpretation, Revelation continues to captivate readers and provoke deep reflection on the mysteries of faith and the nature of God's ultimate plan for humanity. The Book of Revelation, also known as the Apocalypse of John, is the final book of the New Testament in the Christian Bible. It is a highly symbolic and enigmatic text that has fascinated readers and scholars for centuries. Revelation is attributed to John the Apostle, who is believed to have written it while exiled on the island of Patmos, likely around the end of the first century AD. With its vivid imagery, apocalyptic themes, and profound theological insights, Revelation presents a mysterious and compelling vision of the end times and the ultimate triumph of God's kingdom. The structure of Revelation is complex and intricate, consisting of a series of visions, letters, and symbolic narratives. The book begins with an introduction in which John identifies himself as the author and describes his circumstances on Patmos. He then proceeds to deliver a series of messages addressed to seven churches in Asia Minor, each containing commendations, warnings, and exhortations relevant to their spiritual condition. Following the letters to the churches, Revelation unfolds a sequence of visionary experiences in which John is granted glimpses into heavenly realms and future events. These visions are conveyed through a variety of symbolic images, including heavenly beings, beasts, seals, trumpets, and bowls. Throughout the book, there is a pervasive sense of cosmic conflict between the forces of good and evil, with God ultimately triumphing over Satan and establishing his eternal kingdom. One of the central themes of Revelation is eschatology, or the study of the end times. The book portrays a series of cataclysmic events that will precede the return of Jesus Christ, including wars famines, plagues, and natural disasters. These are depicted as signs of God's judgment upon a sinful and rebellious world. Revelation also speaks of the rise of a powerful antagonist known as the Beast, who represents the forces of evil and persecution aligned against God's people. In addition to its eschatological focus, Revelation addresses themes of judgment, redemption, and the sovereignty of God. The book vividly depicts the final judgment of humanity in which the righteous are vindicated and rewarded with eternal life, while the wicked are condemned to eternal punishment. Despite the turmoil and suffering depicted in Revelation, there is a message of hope and assurance for believers, who are encouraged to remain faithful in the face of adversity and persecution. The imagery of Revelation is drawn from various sources, including the Old Testament prophets, ancient Near Eastern mythology, and apocalyptic literature of the intertestamental period. 
This rich tapestry of symbols and motifs contributes to the book's mysterious and multifaceted character, inviting readers to delve deeper into its meaning and significance. Throughout history, Revelation has been interpreted in diverse ways, giving rise to a wide range of theological perspectives and eschatological theories. Regardless of the interpretive approach taken, Revelation continues to captivate readers with its profound insights into the nature of God, the destiny of humanity, and the ultimate triumph of righteousness over evil. Its message of hope, redemption, and the sovereignty of God resonates across cultures and generations, offering comfort and encouragement to believers facing trials and tribulations in every age. As the culmination of the biblical canon, Revelation stands as a fitting conclusion to the story of God's redemptive plan for humanity, inviting readers to join in the worship of the Lamb who was slain and who reigns forevermore. Revelation is structured around a series of sevens, representing completeness and divine perfection. There are seven letters to seven churches in Asia Minor, each containing commendations, warnings, and exhortations relevant to their spiritual state. These letters address issues such as perseverance, faithfulness, and overcoming persecution. Following the letters to the churches, John is granted visions of heavenly scenes, including the throne room of God, where he sees God seated on his throne surrounded by angelic beings and elders. He witnesses the opening of seven seals, each unleashing divine judgments upon the earth culminating in the final judgment. Throughout Revelation, there is a recurring theme of worship, as heavenly beings and redeemed saints join together in praising God and the Lamb. This worship underscores the sovereignty of God and the ultimate fulfillment of His purposes in the world. Revelation also introduces several symbolic figures, including the dragon, representing Satan, the beast, symbolizing worldly powers opposed to God, and the woman, symbolizing the faithful people of God. These figures play key roles in the unfolding drama of the end times, culminating in the final defeat of evil and the establishment of the new heaven and earth. The book concludes with a vision of the New Jerusalem, a glorious city descending from heaven, where God dwells with his people in eternal fellowship. In this vision, there is the promise of a future where there will be no more tears, death, or suffering, as God makes all things new. Please subscribe my YouTube channel I hope you like this video thank you.